the Jack 8 trailer. Um, I didn't see this trailer at all. I saw like some pictures, but nothing, um, you know, that show like gameplay. And like I said, uh, I kind of assumed that Jack 8 was going to be the next character. Uh, even though I initially thought they were going to do Jack 8 first and then Lars. But they did Lars first and then Jack 8. So they kind of flipped it from what I initially thought. But of course, they're saving Jun Kazama for last. Which, it only makes sense it will save her for last. Because she is a very anticipated character that hasn't been in a canon Tekken game since her debut in Tekken 2. Um, so we're going to see her next week. For sure. But let's see what Jack has. Uh, see what he do. Uh, I don't know what I should be expecting from this trailer. Um, besides Jack doing Jack stuff. Uh, I'm more curious about what he gets access to when he's in his heat state. Get ready for the next battle. High tech annihilator. But his redesign New is crazy. Okay, he got the same intro. <laughs> that was a big ass fucking gun. Maybe that's like his heat mechanic. He's using that big ass thing. Holy Jesus. Yep, doing jack stuff. Uh. Uh, Nightstar, thank you for a follow. Welcome to the train. Okay. Holy. All right, he's in heat. Oh, what the, whoa. <laughs> what, the, what the hell was going on? He gets like armor? What is that glowing shit around his hands? Oh, what the hell? That's definitely new, that spinning arm. God damn. All right, we see his rage art. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Okay, they show his uh his eyes. Hi babe. Wow. Okay. Um Yeah, wait. These characters in a heat state is like a whole new game. Uh yeah, we're definitely going to go back and look at that again. Wow. This redesign is kind of questionable, but when he, when he's in motion, it doesn't look that bad. He actually is kind of dope. Boom. Yeah, that wall explosion in this stage is going to be fucking insane. God damn. Oh, like that, what the hell? Then he gets his force field shit? And an armor? You know, Jack Gate might be very scary now. Uh. God damn. Wow. I can't wait for that, tacos. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> What's up, Anthony number three? Is there another Anthony in chat? Wow, Jack Jack was insane. Um we're definitely gonna slow this down. And uh see as what exactly we're looking at. Alright, here we go. Dude, dude, when he hits, you could see and feel the impact. Like, it's crazy. Uh, boom. God damn. And I put them in, I put King in a bounce state. Holy shit. 
his little red laser eye glowed. Wow, so does that does that move that that move put the opponent in a bounce seat every time? Holy crap. That spinning arm thing, that's definitely new. Wow. Okay. He's like flexing when he's doing some of his moves too. Damn, bound into uh heat activation. Ugh, fucking punch in the gut. And when he goes and he say he gets these glowing, glowing like shits on on his hands. Holy crap! Just summons that big ass laser cannon, just blows him up. And it's force field shit. It's like, wow! It's like a armor state that stuns the opponent for a moment. And then he gets armor. He could do like another armor move again that puts him in a screw, uh, screw state. Jesus. Jack looks like he's gonna hit really fucking hard. Uh. Bound state again. So I wonder if is this flexi move like he could change to is that like a stance now for Jack? When he f does that flex. Um right there. Cause he did it earlier, he did a different move, and then now he's doing the same stance, but now he's kicking the opponent. Like fucking I mean that Jack uh, King went flying. Uh fucking blew him up, wow. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, Jack Eats Rage Art is pretty dope. Fucking Hype laser. <laughs> Literally just fucking hype laser his ass. Wow. It's not super crazy, but it, it is pretty flashy. Um definitely way better than second seven rage art. Wow. That looks cool, doesn't it? Uh what about my boy Martial Law or Dragonoff? Martial Law, they they did a trailer for him already and he looks pretty sick. Um, they definitely made him more Bruce Lee than he ever was before. Um, we didn't see Dragonov yet, but I have a good feeling Dragonov will be in Tekken 8. Yeah, he definitely, yeah, Jack A looks so much more better. Uh, like play style wise. His initial design at first was very questionable to me. Cause I was like, I don't know about this redesign, but like when he's in motion and fighting, um, uh, he actually doesn't look bad at all. It's, I guess it's just one of those, like, when you first look at it, it's like, ooh, I, I don't know about this. But then we see it in motion and see him fighting. It's like, okay, no, this is actually kind of cool looking. Uh, to me, it's definitely way better than his Tekken 7 design because his Tekken 7 design was just regular Jack 6, but with a red mohawk and green, like, uh, lights on his arms. That was really it. This one, Jack 8, he looks so different. And I think that's why, like, people's reaction to his redesign, even, like, mine's was, like, a little questionable at first because it was, like, maybe a bit too much. Um, but I, I think now from seeing this trailer, it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Right here, I know who I want to see. Do you think they'll bring Christy? I don't know. Um, I feel like Christy has, like, a 50-50 chance. Uh, I do believe Eddie has more of a chance than Christy, but Christy was pretty highly demand for tech when Tekken 7 was like still being supported, like with DLC. Um, so Christy might come back as the, yeah, possibly as a DLC, possibly. That is definitely not out of the question. Like I could definitely see like Eddie being like base roster, and then eventually they'll add Christy as a DLC. Um, I could definitely see that happening. There, there, there's a lot of characters you could definitely pull from. I already did my like character predictions for Tekken 8 who will be and won't be returning. Um, so if you guys are curious about what my thoughts are or what characters will be returning, just it's on my YouTube channel. 
Uh, they were going to do my reaction. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lars is... Dude, Lars's trailer is fucking insane. I, I think Lars is so fucking sick now. <laughs> um, but same with Jack, though. Like, Jack seems like he's way more fun than he ever was. Uh, I never really used Jack. Um, but just from seeing his trailer, he definitely seems like he's just going to be so much fun. And that's the one big thing I'm loving so far about Tekken 8 is that these characters and uh, these new moves they have now when they're in heat state, it's fucking, it's sick as hell. Like, it's so sick. Like, all these characters get access to so much new shit that we've never seen before that it's definitely going to change the, uh, the meta of the game. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun to watch and see and even play. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about it. Game is going to be very aggressive. That's the theme around Tekken 8 is aggression. So, um, yeah, I'm really glad. I'm really glad they're doing all, all this for all these characters. Um, next week, we're going to see Jun Kazama, which I am so, so excited to see. That's the character I want to see the most out of the characters they already announced is Jun because she was, um, one of my mains for those who don't know she used to be my main well she was my main in tekken 2 she was my main in tag one and she was also one of my mains in tag two with uh asuka which uh yeah and obviously that's my most anticipated character that i want to see um is june because i mean not june um, is asuka i want to see her come back which she's most likely coming back like just because june is in it doesn't mean asuka won't be um Asuka Kazama's definitely coming back. Um, I have a really good feeling about that. She she's a very popular character in um, Tekken uh, in the Tekken franchise. Um, but all right, guys, uh, that's my reaction for Jack Eight. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to see more of my content, please subscribe. It definitely helps the channel a lot. Also, ring the bell to know when I'm uploading. And if you guys want to. Watch my stream. It's on Twitch, BBS Anthony VV. That's usually where I make most of my content on here on YouTube. If you guys can catch all the fun stuff I'm doing on there. I'll be in the description. Till then, you guys have a good day or night.